and there's going to be increasing pressures to save money, and are they going to save it at the expense of pathologists? Uh, we certainly are facing dwindling reimbursements for our classic professional services, and it's a challenge for pathologists to negotiate with their hospital administrations for uh, laboratory director support for the group. We have to have be armed with data that support the value, which is very evident to us, uh, but less so among our colleagues, the value of pathology and the laboratories. We invited a couple of those close to this issue to join us today to talk about these kinds of economic considerations. First, let's welcome your colleague from Springfield, Massachusetts, pathologist professor and CAP leader, Dr. Richard Friedberg, and from Blissfield, Michigan, the founder of Vachette Pathology, nationally recognized pathology business and lab billing consultant, Mr. Mick Rach. Let's give him a round of applause, please. Thank you, thank you. Mr. Rach, uh, get us started. What is going on with reimbursement rates for pathologists? Well, we all know that Medicare has been uh, hammering on the professional side of the pathology component payments for a while. If you look, it's been um, decreased about 6% annually over the last six years on, uh, if you adjust this for inflation. This is no surprise. Uh, the whole healthcare system is going through this, n not just pathologists, and this trend is going to continue. Yeah, and this is a serious problem for a healthcare system that is based upon a fee-for-service model. And in particular, it's a problem for pathologists because that's the professional component that recognizes and rewards us for our work as physicians. 